he would get a seven day from taking Android. And today, let's take a look at Android Mod X 2.0 custom kernel for the Loico LE2. So you can use this custom kernel with both EUI and all other custom ROMs like. It let, let the custom ROM be marshmallow based or nougat based it does not matter you can use this custom kernel with all the custom ROMs like lineage os smoky rom reselection remix and so on so you will have to download one zip file the kernel zip file but there are actually two versions of the zip file one is the eui version other one is the normal version so if you are using a eui rom make sure that you download the eui version of the kernel if you are using any other custom rom you could just download the normal version and i will leave a link to both the zip files i mean both the versions of the kernel in the description below so make sure that you download it and place it on your internal storage so once you have done that power off your device and reboot into your current remote by holding the volume up button and the power button together. So once in your current remote, select install and select the kernel file. So now you will be entered into a aroma installer. Now select in next and select the do you agree checkbox and select next. Now select backup current kernel so that we could take a backup of your current existing ROMs stock kernel so that if you ran into any kind of issues with the custom kernel you could install the stock kernel back and now select Android Mod X kernel installation and select install now and now the custom kernel will be installed So now select next and select next. So now your device will reboot. Yeah, I'll be back once my device reboots. So now my device has booted up so you can basically customize various aspects of the custom kernel using the kernel auditor application so as soon as you launch the kernel auditor application it will ask for root access so just grant root access so the kernel actually has a lot of features it has support for kcal and it also has support for both cpu and gpu overclocking and voltage control and you can also play with a lot of built-in custom governors and you can also set the minimum and both the minimum and maximum frequency of both the big and the little cores as you want you can also enable and disable various cores and you can also tweak in with the various aspects of the display like saturation uh, sharpness and so on and it also has support for safety.net so if you are using magisk manager it will come in handy so the kernel has a quite a lot of features it is actually under modex is actually a really feature packed custom kernel well, and in terms of bugs there aren't any bugs with the normal version the normal version is rock solid stable i did not run into any issues but when i did use the eui version with with eui 5.9.20s rom I, there, I faced a bug which is actually the the minimum brightness display brightness was a little bit higher than the stock kernel so it was like as soon as I flashed the Android Mod X kernel the UI version of the Android Mod X kernel the, the minimum brightness of the display went up slightly higher so uh, even though uh, in the settings I kept the brightness at the least the display brightness was still considerably higher so that's the only bug uh, with, the, with respect to the kernel that too only in the UI version but there is no such bug in the normal version so yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button for more videos hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one see ya